Hello, sports fans and hockey fans. Today I got a card and dice hockey game for you. Uh, today's hockey game will be done using the Stratomatic Basic set and basic rules. I know that there uh, isn't much difference between the basic and the advanced hockey, but we're still going to go with basic. I like to keep everything on videos basic because the gameplay usually goes a lot quicker that way. So we're going to do that. Uh, today's game is going to be the 1994 um, San Jose Sharks visiting the 1994-95 Hartford Whalers. Now you can see the board. I have a custom board here. It's not the usual board. It is the Binghamton Whalers. The Binghamton Whalers were the uh, AHL team in my local area when I was growing up in Binghamton, New York, and I went to many a Binghamton Whaler game, and uh, I, those were some of the greatest times I've had in my life, going to those games. Uh, I went quite often with my friends, went with my father a lot. So they were the minor league affiliate of the Hartford Whalers at the time. And um, so we will use that custom board because I think it's kind of cool. Although really it's going to be covered up by cards, you know, the card, the split deck and the, uh, you know, the, um, let's see, the, uh, you know, the, action cards. So, um, in goal tonight for the uh, Hartford Whalers will be Sean Burke. And um, we'll go through the lines as we get to them, I suppose. Um, I, I want, did want to point out that I am using a method, I'm using partially using a method that uh, ID Jester uh, showed where I do the uh, lineup cards for the different lines in in a you know plastic um, uh, plastic card holder sheets so that um, I can just flip them over or bring a whole sheet over for you know certain lines. Now I'm only doing that with the offense, not with the defense because I only had a few sheets. so uh, I only have enough to do the forward lines for uh, both offenses, uh, both teams offensive lines and not for the defenses. So the defenses are going to be moved manually um, as we go. Um, I am going to use a 20 sided dice instead of the split deck in cases where uh, there it is 20 sided dice in cases where um, it just calls for a uh, a, you know, a, a number from 1 to 20, and, there, and it doesn't need anything else. For other things, I'll use the split deck. So, with those rules having been established, we will uh, we'll get on with the game. First thing we need to do is get the face-off. We roll the 20-sided dice, and the face-off is a 6. I look at the uh, basic face-off chart for six and it says home right wing so here's the puck the blue puck here and goes to the right wing which is uh, Robert Cron on line one and then we pick the card by the way I'm not really intimately familiar with playing uh, Stratomatic hockey card and dice so if I'm doing things wrong just point it out in the uh, in the comments section um, it, it may, hopefully it doesn't affect the outcome of the game, but we'll see. Both teams, by the way, had similar records, and that's why I picked these two teams. Uh, the Sharks of 1994-95 were 19-25-4, and, and the Hartford Whalers of 94-95 were 19-24-5. So only like a half game difference between the two of them. So anyway, the right wing has it for... Um, for Hartford and we will flip the card and uh, home says passing K and passing K is lose the puck to the right wing so he loses it the puck to the opposing right wing and that is um, 
Sergei Markarov, Markarov. And so I believe we pick another card. And now the visitor has it. And it says possible breakaway. And so we will pick the uh, split deck card. And breakaway says left or right wing if breakaway penetration rating is four. If not, lose the puck to the opponent. So uh, the uh, he has the puck and he's the right wing, so I assume that means the left wing. And his breakaway rating is three, so he doesn't um, break away and he loses the puck to the uh, opposing uh, right wing, which is Robert Cron. And so now Robert Cron has it back. We look at home and it says lose puck outside shot for right defenseman. The right defenseman is Sandis Ojalinch. He has an outside shot. He could try to penetrate, uh, but his penetrate, well, his penetration rating is a three. So let's look that up. Uh, one to 11, he penetrates. You know what? We're we're going to try that. So we're going to roll the dice to see if he can penetrate. And he does. So now he has an inside shot. We'll take an inside shot with Ozelinch. And it's a 10 on inside shot. And it's a save and the right defenseman gets it. So the right defenseman for the, uh, the uh, Whalers has the puck. And that's Adam Burt. So now Adam Burt has the puck. It's in home hands. And he says passing L. And that is lose puck to the right wing. So he loses the puck again to Sergei Markarov. Markarov. We pick a card. We're looking at visitors now. And he has a passing J reading. And that is inside shot for left wing. So it comes over to Jeff Friesen, who has an inside shot, which he will take. And that is a save. And left wing has it. So... That gives it to Paul Ranheim. Ranheim has the puck now of Hartford. And uh, for home, it says passing J. His passing J is inside shot for center. That's Andrew Cassell. So now Cassell's has it and he has a possible inside shot. That is a 10 on inside shot. And it's a save and left defenseman gets the puck. So uh, Mike Rath. Rathji has the puck now for San Jose. We look at visitor and it says opponent defense 12. So we're looking at the right defenseman and the right defenseman's defense 12 is takes the puck away. So Adam Burt now has the puck. This is going actually this is going quite well. <laughs> uh, and then the forward lines change. So we will flip this over. And uh, so let's see. Opponent defense twelve. I now I now I forgot who had the puck. Um, um, let's see. Anyway, we're gonna give it. I, we're gonna give it to Nicolaitian. I forgot who had the puck, so we're gonna say Nicolaitian has it. For the homestanding uh, Whalers. He loses the puck and there's an outside shot for the left defenseman. And the left defenseman's penetration rating is only a 2. We're just going to take the outside shot. And it's a 9. And that is a goalie rating on the outside shot. And so uh, we would take, we would roll again on Adam Burt. And that's a 3. And it's a goal 1 to 17. Or a face-off, 18 to 20. We'll roll the dice for it. And that's a goal, San Jose. So Mike Rathji, of all people, has a goal for the Sharks. And I don't know that there would have been an assist, an assist on that because he they just lost the puck. I know that there's a system to give assists but I'm not going to do that um, unless it's obvious in the game who it was like before you know 
where there was a pass and you know there was an inside shot from off the pass I would have known who the uh, assist was in this case I really don't and I'm not going to try to just make it up so we and I know again I know that there is a system to do that I, I'm just not going to do that so we have another face off and the Sharks ahead one nothing 11 on the face off chart is home any player so I'm going to give it to Hartford's center, Drury, and we are going to pick another uh, card, and it says outside shot for any player. Now, I'm going to give it to Turcotte, and I'm going to try for him to move inside. He is a penetration 4, so penetration 4 is a 1 to 13, right? No, he didn't penetrate, so now he loses the puck to the opposing wing, and that's Pat Falloon. So now Pat Falloon has it for San Jose, and we will pick another uh, card. And Visitor says passing K, that's lose puck to the right wing. So he loses the puck to Andre Nicolation. Nicolation with the puck, and he is the home player. Opponent defense 14. So this would be the left wing. Opponent defense 14 is an outside shot. So he's giving Nicolation an outside shot. I assume he could try to penetrate, but he's a three. I'm just going to take the outside shot. And it's a nine. <coughs> Too bad, because if he'd been inside, it would have been a goalie rating. But it's a save. And the center gets it. So Kevin Miller for San Jose has the puck. He is the visiting player. Opponent defense 14 says outside shot. So there's an outside shot for Miller. He is a penetration 3. They're up by 1. They'll just take the outside shot. It's an 11. And it's going to be a save. And left wing comes away with the puck. So Darren Turcott now has the puck. For the Whalers, and it says lose puck outside shot for opponent. So I assume that that means since he's the left wing, it's a, an outside shot for Ulf Dahl in the right wing. He is a penetration, penetration three. We'll roll the dice and see if he can get inside. Probably not. Uh, three was a 1 to 11, so he didn't. So he loses the puck to the left wing, Darren Turcott. Who has the puck back in the defensive lines change all right so now we've made the defensive line change uh turcott has the puck he is the home player lose puck outside shot for center so um, kevin miller has the outside shot he is a penetration three we'll try that try to get him inside nope he doesn't so he loses the puck to drury drury now has the puck he is the home player. Opponent defense 14 says outside shot. So Kevin Miller is allowing uh, Drury an outside shot. Uh, he is a penetration one, so he's definitely going to just take the shot. And it's a 10, and it's a lose to the. It's a save, and the right wing comes up with it. So that's Ulf Dolan. Ulf Dolan of uh, San Jose now has the puck. And uh, home says uh, passing, or no, visitor. Visitor says lose puck outside shot for right wing. So he loses the puck, and now Andre Nicolation has an outside shot. He's going to try to penetrate inside. He does make it, so now he's got an inside shot. He'll take that, and uh, he loses to the defensive center. So he's going to lose the puck to the center. Also, I'm just realizing that um, I could have incorporated uh, intimidation. So now from now on, I will keep that in mind. I haven't tried to intimidate when players have had shot, uh, um, inside shots or tried to get inside. So we will do that. But right now, Kevin Miller has the puck. He's a visiting team. Lose puck possible breakaway. So we're going to pick the card and see what the breakaway section says. Breakaway right or left defenseman if the breakaway penetration is a four. If not, lose puck to opponent. 
Um, neither one of these guys is a breakaway penetration of four, although Cousser was a three, so we'll assume it was him that had it, and he loses it to the right defenseman, who is Tom Peterson of San Jose. So now Tom Peterson has the puck, and Visitor says, lose puck outside shot for center. So he loses the puck. Drury has it. He has an outside shot. He won't try to get inside. He's only a one. And that's a five. Lose to the right wing. So he loses the puck to Ulf Dahlen of San Jose. And uh, Ulf Dahlen comes up with a passing K. Passing K is an inside shot for the center. So uh, they have have that. Um, I think I can try to intimidate, but let's see what his intimidation is. Um, let's just see what happens. We'll pick the card, read intimidation. 15. So intimidation 15. Let's see. He is a penalty. Um, let's see. Now I'm getting all. Now I'm getting bogged down. Of no penalty, and that was a fifteen. So, so he has a two-minute penalty. So I'm reading that as though. Drury has a two-minute penalty. So uh, with the two-minute penalty, we will do the um, power play chart, and we're going to roll the dice to see what the power play gives the um, Whalers. It's 13. If one or more um, four-rated defensive players, and uh, let's see. Four, two, three, one, and three. So they don't have, er, wait, one or more. Okay. And they do because Drury was the guy who had the penalty. Uh, Turcotte is still out there and he's a four defensively. Um, and that means that they have an outside shot for the left wing. So that's Turcotte. We'll take the outside shot. That's an eight, and that's a rebound. Um, we, I think we ignore that, though, and we just go to the next reading. Outside shot for the center, there, um, oh, wait a minute, the left wing. Okay, so that was, who had the penalty? Let's see, passing K. for center if I'm wrong on that I apologize but that's how uh, you know it, it, I'm starting to get bogged down here but anyway um, outside shot for the center so we will take that that is an eight on the outside shot and that's a rebound but I think we ignore it again and we move on to the next one um, outside shot for any player we will give that to, Tur to uh, Turcotte. Seven. That's a right defenseman. Um, inside shot for the center. Inside shot for the center is Drury. Eleven. That's going to be a, a save. Uh, inside shot for the left defenseman. That's going to be Kusera. He gets an eight. That's going to be a rebound. And finally, inside shot for any player, that's going to be Turcotte. That's a six. And that's going to be a save in the defensive center. And everybody goes back to... Um, everybody goes back to normal. And we're going to do a, another face-off. Twelve. Even though that's probably not what would happen, I don't know how to get it to go back to regular. So, uh, visitor, any player. So, we'll give it to Pat Falloon. 
he now has it. We're looking at the visitor section. And that says passing L. Passing L is lose the puck to the center. So Drury now has it. He's home. And that's forward line changes. So got to remember the center for Hartford has the puck. And so now we've, we've got the line changes in. And we will... Uh, and the center has the puck. I remembered that. I made a note of that. And so now that's Mark Jansen's. He's the home player, so he has a, there's a possible breakaway. We'll pick the card and see what the breakaway is. Left or right wing, if breakaway penetration is a four. If not, lose puck to the opponent. And uh, that's Jeff Sanderson. Jeff Sanderson does have a four breakaway. And we will um, take the, uh, the, let's see, yeah, we'll take the breakaway shot. That's an eight. And uh, that is going to be a rebound. And I am sweating all over the place. That's a rebound and we will pick the card for the rebound. And the rebound says offensive right wing if offense rating three or more. And it isn't, so he loses the puck to the left wing, the opposing left wing. So now um, Nazarov has it. He's the visitor. He loses the puck in an outside shot for the left defenseman. Left defenseman is Cusero with an outside shot. He is a penetration three. We're going to try that. He does get inside, and so now he has an inside shot. And the last time I got bogged down with intimidation, so I'm not even going to do that. Four, it's a save and loses to any defensive player. They would give it to Laren Larenov, the center. So now the visitor has it, and he has an outside shot for the right wing. And that is Doug or Jeff Odgers with an outside shot. He's a penetration one, so he's just going to take the outside shot. And that's a five on the outside shot, which is a save, and a left defenseman comes up with it. Left defenseman is Kusera, so he has the puck back. And he is home, and it says opposing defensive players penalty rating AAAB or C, there's a two minute penalty. Um, so the right, the right defenseman and his penalty rating is a D. So there is none. D, he takes the puck away and has an outside shot only. So Tom Peterson has the puck, takes the puck away and has an outside shot. And nine is a goalie rating and we will roll for Sean Burke. And that's an eight. And that's a goal. And San Jose is up 2 nothing. And Peterson, Tom Peterson, the right defenseman, has the goal for the Sharks. And he took the puck away. So he um, doesn't have an assist, or at least not one that I want to care to go through the steps of determining who who it was and so we are going to have a face-off at center ice all right so we're going to determine what the uh, face-off is the face-off is a six and uh that is home right wing so we will give it we'll give the puck to the home right wing, and that is Kevin Smythe, Smith, however you want to pronounce it. He has the puck. He's the home player. Passing J says inside shot for left wing. Okay, and that's Jeff Sanderson. So now he has the puck with an inside shot. I'm not going to do the intimidation. Gets me bogged down. Uh, that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes up with it. That is Nazarov for San Jose. 
he's the visitor and it's opposing defense 14 so the right wings opposing deep is the uh, poser the opposing player and he uh, allows an outside shot by Nazarov they're already up by two they're just gonna take the shot he's a penetration one anyway and he loses the puck to the defensive center so Jansen's now has the puck for Hartford We'll pick the card and he's home and it says outside shot for center. He is the center. He has the puck. He is a penetration one. So he's just going to take the shot. It's a six and he loses to the left wing. So he's going to lose it to Nazarov. Nazarov getting a lot of action this period. He is the visitor and he said that says opposing defensive players penalty rating A, 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 B or C. There's a two minute penalty. And that is the right wing and his penalty is a C so there is a penalty so we are going to San Jose is on a power play and we will roll the dice for the penalty that's a five if the right defenseman is a three or more defensively uh, let's see defense three he is then they only have an outside shot for the left wing and an inside shot for the right wing all right so it's an outside shot for Nazarov that's an 11 that's going to be a save and a left wing and then an inside shot for the right wing and that is a six and that is going to be loses to the center and uh, we will uh, We'll go with a uh, center ice face off because uh, I did that last time. Probably I could just say give it to the center, but I'm just going to say it's a face off with the penalty being over. And we will roll and see what the face off is. It's 11. Home any player. So we will give the puck to Jansen's, I think, and he is the home player. And he gets uh, opposing defensive player penalty rating A, 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 or B. Um, and he is, let's see, a D. So no, and he's that means he's going to lose the puck. It's a good thing these, these players are in these protective coverings because I am sweating like it's nobody's business. So now he has the puck, the, the uh, center for uh, them. And now visitor opposing defensive players penalty rating is A, 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 or B. And uh, his uh, penalty rating is A. So there is a penalty. But um, yeah, all right, we'll do that um, to close out the half. So we're going to or close out the per first period. So the 14, 14 will be if two or more four rated defensive players. So uh, now I forgot who has it again. Visitor. Okay, yeah. All right. So San Jose is on the power play. If four or more. If we're two or more four rated defensive players um, four three two no no so there is one or less and so they have an outside shot for the right wing outside shot for Dodgers that is a six. That's going to be a lose to the left wing. So we just move on to the next reading. Outside shot for the left wing. That's Nazarov. That is an eight. Um, and that's going to be a rebound. So we'll just move on to the next reading. Your reading. Outside shot for the center. That's a five. That's going to be a lose to the defensive center, so that's nothing. And an inside shot for the left wing. So Nazarov has an inside shot, and now the puck is going inside the thing there. Seven inside, lose to the left defenseman. 
And that's going to close out the period. So we have uh, the score at the end of one period is the Sharks 2 and the Whalers nothing. The Whalers got to get going here. But that is the end of the first period. Hello, hockey fans. We're back with the second period of the game between the 1994-95 Sharks and the 1994-95 Hartford Whalers. Um, again, just a couple of the disclaimers that I laid out in the beginning. Um, I will probably make mistakes in this game, and in fact, I know I probably made a couple at least in the first period. Um, the intimidation, I totally messed the intimidation up. I have no idea how the, the intimidation is supposed to work, at least in the basic, well, I mean, in either, any way. I mean, I know it's on the card, but then the card, some of the cards just say 13 or 15 or 16. I don't know what that means because I know that there's some others that will say intimidation, uh, defense takes the puck away possible penalty. Now, in the first period, I awarded a penalty to, um, to somebody on an intimidation that sh probably shouldn't have been. The good news is that there was no goal as a result of that. And as a matter of fact, going into the second period, the Sharks have a 2-0 lead over the Whalers. Goals by Rath, G, and Peterson, unassisted. Again, they may have been assisted if this were a real game or a computer game. But uh, for my purposes, I um, couldn't see who the assists would have been by. And I know that there's a way to de determine that. Um, within the game but I didn't want to look that up and I didn't want to go into that so we're just gonna say two unassisted goals one by Rath G one by Peterson by the Sharks which gives them a 2-0 lead going into the second period Sean Burke having allowed those goals but Arthur Urbe is untouched so far and we will get down to the uh, ice and do the face-off again Anything that requires just a uh, a reading of 1 to 20, I'm going to use a 20-sided die. And also, I want to point out that uh, we have new lines out there. I put the fourth line out for uh, both uh, teams, the fourth um, offensive line and the third defensive line, so that we have, uh, you know, so that we give everybody playing time. So with that, we're going to do the face-off. And that is an 18. Uh, 18 on the face-off chart says visitor right wing. So uh, this would be um, Chris Tansill has it. Um, also, I want to give uh, uh, thanks to my uh, buddy of mine, Scott, who watches the channel and who lives somewhat locally to me. He has the extended sets of uh, uh, probably every set that Strat has ever made. I didn't, so I needed him to send me a couple of players for each team, and he did that, and my, so my thanks to Scott on that. So uh, Chris Hansel has it, and we will see what happens. He is the visitor. Inside shot for any player. Hmm. Well, they're going to give that to... Um, they're going to give that to Craig Janney, the uh, left wing. So we will um, we'll roll the dice. He's taking an inside shot. That is a 10. And that is a, loop, um, a save and left wing for the uh, uh, Whalers. Comes up with it. So now he has it. We refer to the home team. Opponent defense 14. So the right wing. Uh, opponent defense 14 says outside shot he could try to penetrate but he's a two so I'm just going to take the outside shot that is an eight and that is going to be a rebound so we'll pick the card and see what the rebound says and rebound says offensive right defenseman if his offense rating is three or more let's see offensive right defenseman if his offense rate it is so we have a rebound shot for Chris Pronger and he gets a 9. Rebound shot 9 is lose to the defensive left wing. So Chris Janney has it back. And we will 
pick the card. He is on the visiting team. Lose puck outside shot for right wing. So that's going to be an outside shot for Rice. He's an intimidation three. We will or a, a penetration three. We'll try to get him inside, and he does move inside. So now he has an inside shot, and that is a six, and it's a save. And the right defenseman comes up with it for San Jose. We pick the card. San Jose is the visitor. It says lose puck possible breakaway. All right, so we will pick the card for the breakaway. Center or left wing, if breakaway penetration, it really mainly the center, unless it couldn't be the left wing, um, or unless it couldn't be the center. If breakaway penetration is two or more, so he, uh, it is, so he has a breakaway shot, and that is an eight. Eight on breakaway, that is going to be a rebound, so we'll pick the card for a rebound. And rebound says offensive center. So he has a he gets his own rebound and he has another rebound shot. That is a six, and that's going to be a goalie rating. We'll look on Arthur Serbe and roll the dice. That is a nine, and it is a save any forward. So Urbe makes the save, and any forward on his team can come up with the puck. We're going to give it to Jamie Baker, the center. And they're the visitor, and they lose the puck, and they get an outside shot for the center. So Hartford is really pressing here. Um, outside shot. He is a penetration three. We'll try it, and he does get inside. And that is an eight, and that's going to be a rebound. And we'll pick the card again for the rebound. A lot of shots by Hartford here. Defensive left wing, if um, defense rating is two or more. And he is a one. So he isn't a two or more. If not, opponent has a rebound shot. So I'm going to assume that that means the right wing has the uh, shot because he would be across from him. And so we'll take the rebound shot with Stephen Rice. That is a six. That is a goalie rating, and we will roll it and look at Urbe, and that is an 11, and that's going to be a goal for Stephen Rice. And we'll say from Jimmy Carson, because I think Carson had it before that. So we're going to say that that is a goal by Rice from Carson. That gets the Whalers on the board. And the score is two to one. And we will do another face off. That is a 19. That says visitor left defenseman. So that is going to go to Jim Kite. We'll have it. He is the visiting team. That says passing J. Passing J is an inside shot for the center. That's Jamie Baker, and we will take the inside shot. That is a four. It's a save and defensive center. So Jimmy Carson comes up with the puck. He is on the home team. That's an outside shot for the left wing, which is Jocelyn Lemieux. And he is a penetration two, so he'll just take the outside shot. That is a three, and it's going to be a save, and the left wing comes up with it, the defensive left wing. And that is Chris Janney. And he is the visitor, and it's an outside shot for the center. He gets an outside shot for Jamie Baker. He has a penetration two. He'll just take the outside shot. It's a five. And that's going to be a save in the defensive right defenseman. So that's Chris Pronger coming up with the puck for the Whalers. He is home. Opposing defensive players penalty rating A, 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 B, or C. And he is the right defenseman. So the left defenseman's penalty rating is a B. So there is a penalty for Jim Kite. So we will, uh, with that, we will... Uh, roll the dice for the penalty. 
That is a 17. If one or more defense, four rated defensive players are on the ice for the Whalers, let's see. Defense two, uh, two, one, one, uh, four. So we only, er, and, he, and he's really a three on a power play. So um, if no four rated defensive players, which we don't have, because like I said, Lemieux is a three. Um, I think that's a three if he is, uh, oh, wait a minute. No, defensive players. All right, so defensive players. Um, two, four, one. All right, so they do have one. So it's going to be what we're going to have is an outside shot for the right wing. So we will, where's the puck? Here it is. Right wing, Stephen Rice with an outside shot. That is a nine. That is a lose to the right defenseman. We'll go on to the next one. Outside shot for the right defenseman. So it's an outside shot for Pronger. He gets a 12. That's going to be a goalie rating. We'll roll on our bay. And that is four. And that's going to be a rebound. So we'll go on to the next one. Inside shot for the center. Inside shot for Jimmy Carson. That is a seven. That's going to be a goalie rating plus. And so this is a power play and plus means on the power play. So we will look at Arders Urbe for the goalie rating. And that's an 11. It's a goal, Jimmy Carson. And we'll say it's from Pronger because Pronger had the puck before that. So just like that, um, Hartford ties the game on a Carson goal. From prior. And just like that, it's two to two. And Carson has been involved in both goals. And we will do another face off. That is a two home right wing. So the right wing is Stephen Rice. He has the puck. We'll pick it for the uh, home. Opponent defense 13, so the left wing's defense is an outside shot, and he is a penetration three. He's going to try to get inside. He does not. He loses the puck to the left wing, who is Janney, and the forward lines will change right there. So we this is line four, so we're going to, um, yeah, and i got to remember that the left wing has it for San Jose. He is the visitor. Lose puck outside shot for left wing. So he loses the puck and uh, Darren Turcott has the uh, outside shot. He is a penetration four, so he's going to try to get inside. And he doesn't. He loses the puck uh, back to the uh, right wing for San Jose. Again, if I'm doing that right. Visitor, opposing defensive players rating A, 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 or B. Um, and that would be the left wing. His um, penalty rating is a D. So uh, he takes the puck away, and now Turcotte has the puck. He is the home team. And we look at his passing K. It's an inside shot for the left wing. Now, he is the left wing. So, um, hmm. I don't know what we would do with that. Suppose we'll give it to the center. Um, not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but it's a rebound. We will pick the card and look at the rebound section. And the rebound says defensive right defenseman if rating three or more. So the right defenseman's defensive rating is four, so he takes the puck away. And that's Jay Moore for um, the Sharks. So now they have it, they're the visitor. Possible breakaway, we'll pick the card for the breakaway. Center, if breakaway penetration is three or more, if not, lose to opponent. And it is, so that's Ray Whitney. Ray Whitney has uh, 
a breakaway shot. And that is a 10. And 10 is going to be a goalie rating. We'll roll the dice and we'll look at uh, Sean Burke. That is an 8. And it's going to be a goal. So Ray Whitney from Jay Moore. And that gives the lead back to the Sharks. And it is now three to two. Sharks lead over Hartford. And we will go back to the face-off circle. That is a six on the face-off. It's a home right wing. So we will give it to uh, Andre Nicolician. And he is the home. He's the home player. He loses the puck outside shot for right defenseman. The right defenseman is Jay Moore. His penetration is only a one, so he's just going to take the shot. It's a four, and it's a lose to the right wing. So he loses the puck to Nicolation. He's the home uh, player, passing L. Lose puck to the center. So he loses the puck to Whitney, and now Ray Whitney has it. And he is the... Visiting player and passing J is going to be an inside shot for the center. He is the center. I guess I'll give it to the left wing. And that's freezing. Now, I'm not sure. I mean, maybe he could take the shot himself, but it says passing. So I assume he had to pass the puck. Um, eight, and that's a rebound. We'll pick the card for the rebound. Rebound says defensive left defenseman if his rating is three or more. Left defenseman's defensive rating is three. So um, he gets the puck. And that's Glenn Featherstone. And the defensive lines change. With that, i got to remember that Featherstone has it. So th those have changed. Now Adam Burt, who is the left defenseman for uh, the Whalers, has the puck. He is the uh, home player. Passing J. Passing J says inside shot for left wing. So Darren Turcott has an inside shot. We'll roll the dice for that. It's a seven. That is a goalie rating. And we'll look at Artist Urbe for that. And that's a goal one to 17. We'll roll the dice. And it is a 15. And that is a goal. And that's going to the Hartford Whalers tie game back up. Turcott from Burt. So a lot of scoring after a, a relatively benign first period. There's a lot of scoring here in the second as the Whalers have come up with three goals and the Sharks have one which results in a 3-3 tie as we are getting near the tail end of the second period. We'll do another face-off. There's a three home left defenseman. So the home left defenseman comes up with the puck. And that's Adam Burt. We pick the card. He is the home player opposing defensive player's penalty. And it's any, I mean, he makes a penalty. Just basically, it's a two minute penalty for the left defenseman, which is um, um, Rath G. So Rath G is out. And we will uh, roll the dice for the penalty. It's a three. Penalty three. If the left defenseman is a four, well, the left defenseman is the one that made the penalty. So we're going to have to say no. If he's three or less and he's gone. So uh, it's going to be an inside shot for any player. So the first thing is an inside shot for any player. That's going to be Ted Drury. We'll take it with him. That is an eight on an inside shot, which is a rebound. And again, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take the rebounds before I go to the next thing on the penalty chart, but 
I'm not doing that to stay consistent. And a rebound shot for the left wing. So you got the left wing is Darren Turcott taking a, a rebound shot. That's a seven. That's going to be a goalie rating. We will look at Ardurs Herbe. That is a nine. And that's going to be a save any forward. And so we will. Now, I was consistently going and doing face-offs, coming off of penalties. Probably not what I'm supposed to do. Probably supposed to just take the last result. But to stay consistent for this game, I am going to do another face-off because that's what I did in the first uh, period. Home right defenseman. So, home right defense, And really, we could just say that that's who ended up with it. But anyway, the right defenseman for the... Uh, uh, the Whalers is Brian Glenn, and he now has the puck. He's the home player, and it says passing J. Inside shot for the center. That's Ted Drury. That is a 10 on the inside shot. It's a save, and the left wing comes up with it, and that is Friesen for the uh, Sharks. So now Friesen has it. He's the visiting player. Opponent defense 14. That's Nicolaitian, 14. He lets uh, Friesen have an outside shot. He's a penetration three. I'm going to try that. 11. Let's see if he made it inside. He did. He, base, he barely got inside, so it's an inside shot. Nine on the inside shot for him is lose to the left defenseman. So he loses the puck to Adam Burt of uh, Hartford. We look at the home because they have it now. Outside shot for the center. He's given Drury an outside shot. He's a penetration one. I'll just take the shot. It's an eight. It's a rebound. And we will look at the rebound section on the card. Left defenseman if breakaway penetration rating is four. And uh, it is not. If not, lose puck to opponent. I'm going to assume that that means he loses it to Ray Whitney, the center. And uh, he is the visiting player, so it's a passing K. Inside shot for right wing. So that's Sergei Makarov has an inside shot. That's a 10. That's going to be a lose to the left wing. And so now Turcott has it. And we have a forward line change. So that means flip it over. Um, oh, I had line two out there for them. So I will flip it over and it's going to be one for them. Line one. Which really doesn't matter. And then for them, uh, we're going to just flip them over and it will be line two. Because I did have line one out there. And Ranheim is the guy with the puck, I believe. And he is the home player. Inside shot for any player. So he allows an inside, he gets, uh, allows for his inside shot for any player. And that's going to be Robert Cron, the right wing. And that's going to be a five. Five inside. That's goalie rating. We look at her, roll the dice and look at her, babe. That's an eight. And that's going to be a face off. So now we know it is a face off. And that is a 17, visitor left wing. So the visitor's left wing, that is Pat Falloon. Um, he's the visitor, outside shot for right wing. So he gives it to Ulf Dahlen, and he is a penetration three. We'll try that. That's an 18. It isn't. He loses it to Ranheim. Ranheim is the home player. He has an outside shot for any player. We'll give it to Cassells. I assume you can't move inside on that, or maybe you could, but I'm just going to take the, ins the outside shot. Lose to the left defenseman. So he loses it to Rathji of San Jose. Now the visiting team, San Jose, has it. Passing K. Passing K. Lose the puck to the center. So now Cassells has it. It's a back and forth like a tennis game now after a lot of scoring. The home team, opponent, the defense, 14. Kevin Miller's defense, 
it says outside shot to cells. Um, I think he's just going to take the outside shot. That's a nine, and that's a lose to the left defenseman. Left defenseman is Rathji. He is the visiting team. Opponent defense, 14. So the right defenseman's 14. Defense is outside shot. So Rathji has an outside shot. That's a six. And that's going to be a lose to the defensive center. So now Cassells has the puck. This is the last play of the period. He is the home team. He loses the puck in an outside shot for opponent. I have assume that means he loses it to Miller. Miller is a three. He's going to try to get inside. He does get inside and he has an inside shot. That is an eight and it's going to be a rebound. We'll pick the rebound. And rebound says defense any player with a defensive rating of four. Uh, let's see if there is one. There isn't one. If none, any opposing player has a rebound shot. So they're going to give the rebound shot to um, Falloon. Pat Falloon, he has a rebound shot. That's an eight, probably a rebound it is. We'll pick the rebound again. Rebound, defensive centers, if defensive rating is two or more. And his defensive rating is two. He gets the puck back, and that marks the end of the second period. With the score tied at three all. All right, we're back for the third period of this tie game at three between the Sharks and the Whalers of 94-95. The Sharks goals were scored by Rath, G, and Peterson in the first period unassisted and then Whitney from uh, Jay Moore in the second period. Those are the three Sharks goals. The three Whalers goals have all come in the second period on goals by Rice, and uh, he was with an assist from Carson. Then Carson on an assist from Pronger, and then Turcott on an assist from Adam Burt. And so that's where we are, uh, tied at three apiece. And going into the third period. So we'll see if there's an overtime period in 94-95, there was a five minute overtime if the game was not decided after three periods, which I will be playing if the game stays tied to that point. Um, so let's just get into it. We're going to do the face off. That is a four and that means home right defenseman gets the puck. Um, I have come out with different offensive lines, but I kept the same defensive pairings that ended the second period. Uh, so you have the uh, third line for the Whalers and the third line for the San Jose Sharks. Um, and the right defenseman is R Brian Glenn, and he has the puck. He's on the home team, and it says opponent defense 13. So the left defenseman... 13 says takes the puck away so Rath G now has the puck we pick the card he's the visitor lose puck outside shot for left wing so that gives the puck to Jeff Sanderson who has an outside shot uh, he is the home guy oh wait a minute I'm I don't I don't pick a card I just uh, give him the outside shot because we're gonna do that and it's going to be a save, and the right wing gets it. So that's Jeff Odgers, and now I do pick a card. And he is on the visiting team, opposing defensive players rating A, 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 or B. Um, that is going to be Sanderson, and his penalty rating is a C. So he takes the puck away because his... Was it didn't fall in the other range. He is the visiting, or he's the home team, passing K. Passing K is an inside shot to the right wing. That's uh, Kevin Smythe, or Smith, if he pronounces it that way. Inside shot is a uh, save, and the right wing comes up with it. 
So that's Jeff Odgers. Jeff Odgers has the puck. He is on the visiting team, and it's a possible breakaway. I had reshuffled the deck, so we have new, uh, you know, new readings here. Breakaway center, if breakaway penetration rating is two or more, and it is. So he, um, that's Igor Larry. Larianov, and he has a breakaway shot, and that's a 12, and that's going to be a save, and the defensive right defenseman comes up with it. So that's Brian Glynn of the Whalers, has control of the puck. He is a home team. He loses the puck, and there's an outside shot for the opposing right defenseman, and that is Sandus Ozelinch. And Ozelinch will take the outside shot. His penetration's a three. You know what? His penetration's a three. We'll try to get him inside. I think he barely got inside. Uh, he did. So now he's going to have an inside shot. That is an eight, and it's going to be a rebound. We will pick the card for the rebound. And rebound says offensive left defenseman. And so that is going to be uh, Mike Rathge, who already has a goal today. Oh, and I don't pick the card. Um, let's see. No, wait, I do. I do, because he has the puck. Let's see. I think... Wait a minute. Oh, that was, yeah, rebound, offensive left defenseman. All right, so I think he just has the puck. I don't think that means he has a shot. Um, and he is the visiting guy, and he's got an outside shot for any player. Um, they are going to give that, and I, and I read that as it has to be an outside shot. So they are going to give it to Jeff Odgers. And he has a six, which is lose to the left wing. So Sanderson now has it. And uh, that is, uh, he is the home player. And he has an opponent defense 13. So the right wing defense 13 is outside shot. Uh, he could try to penetrate, and he's a four. So I am going to... Try to get him inside, and let's see if he did. He did. So now Sanderson has an inside shot. That's an 11, and that's going to be a save any defensive player. So they can give it to any defensive player, and they are going to give it to Lirianov because he's across from an A penalty, and he's the center. And then uh, the forward lines are going to change, and so that whole strategy just went out the window. But the Sharks center has it. I have to remember that the Sharks center has it. That was line three, so we'll flip it over, and this is line four. And put their defenseman back out there. And we'll flip theirs over. And line four. So we have both line fours out there now. And... Uh, we have a, uh, uh, he has the puck. He is the visiting. Lose puck outside shot for right wing. So this is now Stephen Rice has an outside shot. And he is a penetration three. We'll try to get him inside. He does, and now he has an inside shot, and it's a three. That's a goalie rating, so we'll look at the goalie rating for Urbe. And that is a seven, which is a save either defenseman. So he can give it to either defenseman. They're going to give it to Raft G. And um, he's on the visiting team. Lose puck, possible breakaway. So we will look at the breakaway section. Right defenseman or left defenseman. Right defenseman is uh, Brian Glenn. So that's the prime player. And he just has a breakaway. It doesn't say it's conditional, so that's a seven. Seven is a lose to the right wing. Lose the puck to the uh, right wing 
for the uh, for San Jose. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a line change right here. And we're going to go to the number one lines. Because these are the four lines and they don't play as much generally. i got to remember the right wing has it for San Jose. Um, but we're going to put their line one out there. Put their defenseman back. And we are going to do the same with Hartford. We're going to put their number one line out there. Because the four line shouldn't be playing quite as much. It's already been out once at the start of the second period. And uh, it got a brief time here in the third. And now we'll keep moving along. And um, the right wing has it for... Uh, San Jose and he's the visiting lose puck outside shot for the center so he loses the puck and now this is Ted Drury with an outside shot he's a penetration one so he is not going to do that he's going to go eight which is a rebound and then we pick the rebound and the rebound is defensive left wing if his defense rating is two or more We'll look at the left wing. His defense is three, so he does have the puck now. And uh, it says for him, passing J. Passing J is inside shot for right wing. So it goes over to Markarov for an inside shot. And that is a four on the inside, and that's going to be X any defensive player. So they're going to give it to um, they're going to give it to Turcot Darren Turcot. So now he has it. He's on the home team. Outside shot for left wing, center or left wing. So that's Drury. He is only a one penetration. So they will take the shot. It's a seven. Lose to any defensive player. They're going to give it to, um, they'll give it to Ray Whitney. Ray Whitney has it. He's on the visiting team. Outside shot for center or right wing. And in this case, it would be the right wing. Markarov, he is an eight. He rolls an eight. That's a rebound. We'll pick the rebound card. Rebound says defensive right defenseman if his defense rating is three or more and it is so he takes the puck away he's got control that's brian glenn brian glenn with control and he's on the home team opposing defensive players penalty rating anything but a d and he is the uh, right defenseman so the left defenseman penalty rating ha happens to be a d though so he takes the puck away and there's no penalty and the defensive lines change so we will do that and this is going to be the last defensive line change i believe and we got to remember that the left defenseman for san jose has the puck and uh, hartford is going to bring out glenn wesley and Franasek Kusera, while San Jose has Sean Cronin and Tom Peterson. And uh, that change has been made. Um, Cronin with the puck, and he is the visiting player. Opponent defense 12, so the right defenseman's uh, defense 12 is uh, takes puck away. So Kusera has the puck. For Hartford and uh, he has an opponent defense 14 so the left defenseman Cronin 14 outside shot Kusera has an outside shot now one thing he could do is he could pass and I believe yeah passing is on here uh, he but he's he's a penetration three we're gonna try we're gonna try to penetrate with him 
and he does get inside and so now he has an inside shot that's a six and that's going to be a save and the left wing comes up with it that is Friesen so now Friesen has the puck and we have a uh, passing J on his part and uh, that is an inside shot for the right wing so that's Sergei Margarov, Markarov and that's a five inside shot and that's going to be a, a save and the defensive left wing has the puck that's Turcotte he is the uh, home player he gets a passing J passing J is an inside shot for the right wing so that's Nicolaitian Nicolaitian with an inside shot that is a seven and that's going to be a, a save and the right wing comes up with it and that is going to be um, that's going to be Sergei Markarov who now has the puck he is the visitor opponent defense 12 so the left wing takes the puck away that's Turcotte so Turcotte takes the puck away and has control Hartford now has control they are the home team passing J is an inside shot for the right wing so uh, that's gonna be Nicolaitian with another shot another inside shot another chance for him seven that's gonna be a save and the right wing comes up with it that's Markarov now Markarov has the puck he's the visitor opponent defense 14 left wing 14 defense is outside shot uh, Markarov has an outside shot but he could also pass it um, but he's a penetration three so we're gonna try that that's been working pretty well today but he doesn't get inside so he loses the puck to Turcotte Turcotte now has control he's at home he has an opponent defense 12 so the right wing Sergei Markarov defense 12 is an outside shot he is a four penetration though he's going to try to penetrate inside that is a five and five is a goalie rating and so we're going to look at Artis Urbe and roll the dice and it's an eight and it's a face off so no goal and we have another face off that is an 11 11 is home any player we're going to give it to Drury and now the forward lines change so we will flip them over flip those lines over and that should be the last change for regulation that we will run into and now it's Andrew Cassells who has the puck and he is the home player lose puck outside shot for opponent that means uh, Kevin Miller he is a three penetration but you know what I'm gonna try a pass with him so we're gonna pick the card and look at passing passing J passing J is an inside shot for the center but that's him so uh, we'll give it to Ulf Dahlen Ulf Dahlen with an inside shot that is a four that is going to be a save any player so we'll give the puck back to Cassells the, cent the center for Hartford he is the home player he loses the puck and there's an outside shot for the center that's Miller he's a three we're going to try to penetrate inside he does get inside so now Miller has an inside shot that is a seven that's going to be a save and the defensive center comes up with it that's Cassells um he is the home player so outside shot for the right wing right wing with an outside shot he is a three penetrating they'll try it and he does make it inside and that is a four four inside shot is a save left wing comes up with it that's Falloon time is winding down here in this 3-3 game he got comes up with a passing K lose the puck to the right wing so he loses the puck to Robert Cron. he's the home player he has an inside shot for any player 
inside shot for any player, I'm going to say let's give it to Cassells for the inside shot. That is an 11, and that's going to be a save right wing. So the right wing comes up with it for San Jose. He is the uh, visiting player outside shot for left wing. So that's Ranheim with an outside shot. He is a penetration three. He's going to try that. It's been working really well for threes, but he, it doesn't there. He loses the puck back to Dolan. This is the last uh, card of the period. Visitor, he has an opponent defense 13. And uh, that would be the left wing. Defense 13 is an outside shot. He is a three at penetration. They'll try it. He does get inside. He has an inside shot. Last possible shot. It's a goalie rating. We're going to look at Burke. Burke out of 10 is a face-off. And so that is going to end the third period. We have a tie game. And what that means is we go to a five-minute overtime period. After which, if it stays tied... We just have a, uh, we have a tie game. And so I will shuffle the cards and we will do the overtime period. All right, we're back for the overtime period. The overtime period would be five minutes in real life. So I estimated that to be about seven cards and I made sure that there's no line changes in the seven cards. So they are all action type cards. We're going to have line two for Hartford out there and line three for the Sharks. There are also defensive pairing changes. The defense for the um, uh, Whalers will be Glenn Featherstone and Chris Pronger. And the defense for the Sharks will be Jim Kite and Jay Moore. And if you will recall, uh, Jay Moore has an assist this game. So we're going to roll the dice for the faceoff. To begin the period and visitor right wing comes up with the puck so that is going to be jeff odgers um he has it he's the visitor passing l lose to, to any player they're going to give it to turcott and now he has it he's the home player uh lose puck possible breakaway we'll pick the card for the breakaway that says right defenseman if breakaway penetration is four. Right defenseman, his penetration is only a one. So if not, lose puck to opponent. So he's the right defenseman. He loses it to Featherstone, who now has the puck. He is on the home team. If for the opposing player is anything but a C or a D, so he's the left defenseman. The right defenseman's penalty is a C. So he takes the puck away, and now he has it. Jay Moore has control, and he's on the visiting team, the visiting Sharks. Uh, opponent penalty rating anything but a D. He's the right defenseman, so the left defenseman, um, his penalty rating is an A. So that's going to be a penalty, a uh, two-minute penalty, and so we're going to roll the dice and see what kind of a, how the penalty rolls there comes out. That's an A. If the left wing is a three or more, the left wing offensively, I guess, is not a three or more. So if the left wing is two or less, we're going to go through that, that uh, progression. The first one is an outside shot for the center. That's Larinov, and outside shot is a save and a right defenseman. Next one is an outside shot for the right wing, that's Dodgers, and that is a 10, and 10 is a save in the left wing, comes away with it, and inside shot for any player, they're going to give it to, uh, they're going to give it to Larianov, and he gets a 7 on the inside shot, and that is a save in the right wing. And as I've done before, I will do a face-off. Probably not what you're supposed to do, but we're going to do that. Roll the dice for the face-off. Visitor left defenseman. So Jim Kite. And again, you could just assume that that's who would come away with it. 
But anyway, he has it. He's on the visiting team. Lose puck, possible breakaway. Possible breakaway for Hartford. Right defenseman if his breakaway penetration is three or more. And it is. So Pronger has a breakaway. And we will give him the puck. And that is a three. And three is a goal, one to 14. I got to roll the 20 side. It is a goal for Pronger, though. And that is it. I believe that is just a, is it? It's your game. The Whalers win the game by the score, four to three, in the five minute overtime period. Hell of a game, people. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.